There's nothing minimalist or gritty about Assos. Can you see it down there? It's picture perfect. It's like a postcard. Welcome to another perfect day for travel and photography on the Greek island of Kefalonia. Today we have a vehicle and we are heading north to the most picturesque village I think I've ever seen, Assos, and also to an incredible beach called Myrtos Beach. Let's go. It's about 9.30 when we leave Kefalonia's capital, Agostoli, heading to our first destination, the gorgeous and appropriately named village of Assos, which in Greek means ace. I'm on a vacation with my wife, so this is not a dedicated photo shoot, but I'll be taking photos every opportunity I get. As in some other parts of Greece, the roads here are pretty narrow, so you can't pull over anywhere you feel like it to take photos, for example. But when the opportunity does arise, like this small car park next to a church, I jump at it. In this part of the island, there are olive trees as far as the eye can see. That's Agostoli in the distance, where we started our drive. This is the town of Divarata. You can turn left here for Myrtos Beach, but we're going to come back this way to do that later. I recommend you take it easy on these roads and enjoy the view, because you don't know what will be around the next bend. The landscape is more rugged now, and the scenery more spectacular. We rented this car through the hotel, and the one that they had left happened to be a manual. I'm confident driving manual cars, so I thought that would be fine. But some of the roads here are very windy and mountainous. So if you're not confident with navigating while doing lots of gear changing, I would suggest that an automatic would be a better bet. At about 11.30, we reach our destination, the village of Assos. You can't park right in the centre of the village, but this very convenient car park is just a short walk to this idyllic little bay. One of the main attractions in Assos is the climb up to the Venetian castle ruins. But there's definitely time for a coffee before we tackle that. And what a perfect setting to enjoy a coffee. Fully caffeinated, we start our climb just after midday. This October weather is pleasant for just about anything. Now 
Yeah, if you've seen any of my uh, other photography, you know, I like gritty photography and I like minimalist photography. But I am in Assos in Kefalonia in Greece. And really, there's nothing minimalist or gritty about Assos. Can you see it down there? It is picture perfect. It's like a postcard. But that's okay. I'm embracing it. Let's go and take some postcard photos. Uh, in 1953, uh, the island of Kefalonia was devastated by an earthquake. And Assos in the north of the island was not spared. It was reduced to rubble. But apparently the people of Paris, Paris, loved Assos so much that they paid for it to be rebuilt. And what an awesome job they did. In the late 16th century, the Venetians who controlled the island had big plans for Assos, to build a fortress state from scratch. But it didn't really work out because it was too vulnerable to sieges, as it wasn't self-sufficient and it didn't have its own water source. Nevertheless, with two kilometres of walls, it is still one of the biggest castles in Greece and has to be a contender for the one with the best view. There were two restaurants we saw that looked like likely spots for lunch and Susan has already chosen the one she prefers. Excellent. Still plenty of tables available. In this incredible setting, our modest vegetarian lunch felt like a feast. After lunch, I set out to take some shots in the village. At around 2pm, some tour bus groups arrived, so that was a good time for us to head off to our other destination for today, Murtos Beach. Look out for the small parking areas on the road between Assos and Diverata to get the best wide shots of Murtos Beach. Murtos Beach is the most famous beach in Kefalonia. Some would say the best beach in Greece. Its fame grew after it was used as a location in the Hollywood movie Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Up close, this beach doesn't disappoint. Just stunning. 
but it's a pebbly beach. So if you don't have any, invest in some beach sandals. What a perfect day. The weather, the scenery, the food, we couldn't fault any of it. It was wonderful. My tip is to start early in the day to enjoy Assos at its peaceful best. I would have loved to stay there overnight to soak in more of that location and to take more photos. Thanks for coming along with me on this trip. And if you liked the video or found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. If stories about travel and photography are your thing, consider subscribing to see more videos like this. See you in the next one.